Now at 5.30, Kamala Harris making history today. You're right about that, Chuck, on so many levels. As NBC4's Angie Crouch shows us, her rise to the top has inspired others with similar, to, similar heritage to celebrate their ethnicities. While I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. Oakland native Kamala Harris, who has a Jamaican father and an Indian mother, is being celebrated by others with black and Indian heritage, a cultural blend known as Blindian. It allows anything to, you know, be possible. Jonah Batumzi from Uganda is married to an Indian woman and they have biracial children. He created an Instagram page called Blindian Project to give black and South Asian couples an online community. He says the events of 2020, including the political rise of Kamala Harris, have placed a spotlight on the discrimination some black and Indian couples face. COVID's happened, um, George Floyd has happened, and, and now um, Kamala's happened. And I think all of this has created this um, this momentum, this force that's just um, allowed us to, um, you know, start telling our story. Among the Blindian couples feeling a renewed sense of optimism are Mehul and Sheena Perrick from Long Beach, who got married in 2018. While their family and close friends embraced their union, they know many other mixed couples who don't always experience that same acceptance. I feel I have received from some people in the black community of why are you marrying somebody who's not black? Because they won't understand you. They're raising their three-month-old son, Ishir, to be proud of his mixed race, and they believe Kamala Harris gives him a great role model to look up to. To have somebody to identify, to identify, yes. to say, you know, there's another Blindian child or a person that did it, so, you know, that gives him hope. A role model. Yeah. These Blindian families say they look forward to the day when being biracial is no big deal. And they're grateful to Kamala Harris for being the first national political figure to break the Blindian barrier. Angie Crouch, NBC4 News.